Hi, I'm Dave and welcome to uh, day 10 of RPG a Day 2015. Uh, today's topic is, uh, it's, a, well, it's a tricky one because um, it's favourite RPG publisher. And as you can imagine, a lot of the people that I've been trying to get to help out with the videos for, for here are all um, in the games industry. And they don't want to just sort of go, hey, yeah, my publishing company is amazing. Or, or they don't want to say, um, yeah, well, your publishing company is amazing. I'm expecting something out of this. So I couldn't really get anybody to volunteer to help me out on this one. And while I've worked for a couple of um, fairly big RPG publishers, um, most recently Cubicle 7 Entertainment and before that Eden Studios, uh, I think I won't be insulting anybody by saying that my favorite RPG publisher doesn't exist anymore, which is a bit sad, really. <sighs> oh, well. Yeah, um, my favorite RPG publisher is West End Games. I love West End Games. I used to. When I was uh, gaming and really just getting into gaming in a big way, and I was playing lots of uh, Star Frontiers and Traveller and D&D &D and RuneQuest and things like that. Um, while I GM'd Star Frontiers, um, I was always kind of on the lookout for other things to play. And in the 80s, along came a couple of games that really changed the way I looked at how games were written and how they were played. Funnily enough... Um, most of these games were actually done by West End Games. Um, Paranoia was uh, a bit of a, a shocker to everybody, I think, because it, um, it took the science fiction genre, it took THX 1138 and completely turned it on its head and turned it into a complete farce. The whole game is just chaotic m madness. Uh, and then, of course, there was Ghostbusters, which... I'll probably end up talking about a little bit more in the future because Ghostbusters was really quite influential to me. It's the one of the first games that I read that um, didn't read like stereo instructions. Instead of it being, and you can walk at this pace for so many meters per turn and then you can make so many combat rolls to hit and you must roll these many dice and but look at this table which is very complicated and then compare and contrast all this kind of business ghostbusters just went sorry just roll some dice it'd be fun hey let's blow some stuff up um buildings will explode you'll fall out in of, of the crawl out the rubble in your underwear uh, there'll be some ghosts you can do whatever you like it will be absolute chaos and nonsense and it'll be fun which is the idea of it which was great there is what one uh, my favourite RPG of all time uh, last year for RPG A Day, which of course uh, is the old Star Wars RPG. Um, yeah, it's just... No, mustn't sniff old books. Look, it's so beautiful. It was, it was adaptable, it was quick, it was fast, it was, it was immense fun and it was Star Wars, right at the time when we needed more Star Wars stuff because Return of the Jedi had gone and faded into the distant memory and we needed more Star Wars stuff out there and this came along and it meant that we could all be running around with lightsabers and blasters and flying freighters and fighting the Empire and it was just glorious. I even went on to uh, Price of Freedom. That was a bit wacky, a bit more tactical. Uh, I never really went on to Masterbook and stuff like that, but it wasn't because I didn't want to buy the Masterbook games and the Indiana Jones ones and all the things that came after that. It was purely because my gaming group went off to university and left me alone. So alone. We can find out more about my history in gaming and how that all ties together uh, if you read my blog, especially the uh, Roll Your Own Life stuff that's on there. Okay, uh, so what's your favourite RPG publisher? Is it one that has disappeared into the dim and distant past? Could it be TSR? Or is it somebody more current that you think is 
really shaping the games industry at the moment. Remember, be nice, be positive. We love these games. Spread it all over the internet and using the hashtag RPG a day 2015. And um, until tomorrow, stay multi-classy. Mm -hmm.